Just got off the phone with Salerno. He swears that Ella is lying. Claims he can prove it too. Maybe we should call him as a rebuttal witness. Not worth it. The less we talk about Ella or Salerno, the better. I understand, but we should probably do something to discredit her testimony. The damage has already been done, she said, but she said the jury will either believe her or not. If that's what you think. No. What I think is that it would have been nice to know about the ex-girlfriend before trial. I agree, but, um... But? What? You want it to fast-track the case. That obviously compressed the amount of time. That is not an excuse. No, that's a fact. I think your perception of me is starting to affect our relationship. Excuse me? Let's just cut to the chase. You think I'm using this trial to get reelected? To get my name in the press? Oh. Come on, Nolan. Now's your chance. Queen for a day. Speak your truth. Okay, I will. Um, yes, I think the upcoming election was part of your calculus. And because of that, you think I'm more politician than prosecutor? No, I never said that. But you think it. <laughs> Jack McCoy is gone. And I'm sorry if that distorted your sense of stability and security, but let me be as transparent as I possibly can. I am not trying to be the next Jack McCoy. I don't want to be the next Jack McCoy. I don't care how he ran this office or how he conducted himself with the press. But that does not mean that I am some sort of political carnival barker looking to whore out this office to advance my ambition. Now, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, you're not entirely wrong either. I am well aware that this case is getting lots of press attention, and yes, that was part of my plan. And yes, I want to win this election very badly because I love this job, and I love trying cases. And if you don't understand or respect that, or me, then you are free to get the hell out. All I can say is uh, you are wrong. And for the record, I think your perception of who I am is the thing affecting our relationship. You look at me like I'm like I'm constantly judging you, like, like I'm constantly comparing you to Jack McCoy. I'm not, I'm just trying to do my damn job. <laughs>